Hello and welcome to a Tritium Gaming tutorial. Uh, this will be a tutorial on how to host a armor-free dedicated, armor-free alpha dedicated server. I s dedicated is is uh, in quotation marks because it's it's not truly a dedicated server. To be fair, it's because there is currently no server uh, standalone binary available. We're going to be launching it through a different method, which is effectively a dedicated server but it's not quite the same. For stars what you need initially is to have a copy of Armor Free and Steam installed on your system. Um, I'll just quickly hop to the Steam directory if I stop being stupid. Uh, and there will be one more thing or a few more things in there. So you'll have a Steam folder like this. You won't have this or this because I'm going to show you how to get this. Um, once you you have Armor Free and a uh, uh, copy of Armor Free and Steam installed on your system, what you're going to then need is to the way I've done it is I've run Armor Steam uh, sorry Armor Free once through Steam, and that just installed all the DirectX components and stuff for a first time startup. Then I, I closed it quickly before it actually uh, fully launched the game. Uh, then what you're going to need is Toffees, I think it's Toffees or it's Toffees, I don't know how to pronounce that, Armour 2 dedicated server tool. This is for Armour 2, but it works as, it works well for Armour 3. We've been using it for our Armour 3 servers and we've got a few of them up. Um, just download it from Uh and it's on there somewhere. I will give it a link in the description below uh, you can just download it straight from Armaholic uh, you will even need 7-zip or something like WinRAR I'll link WinRAR in the description below as well to uh, open the file the first thing to do is download the file and once that's downloaded it's not a very large file go into it and you should see tadst.exe you want to extract that to the same folder as your armor free which will be in your steam apps folder uh, common steam apps folder to extract that straight into there um, I only need to this because I already I already have it in the folder okay so now you've got tads2 you will see that you'll probably I'll just delete this quickly. When you launch that for the first time, it will come up with an error message. Do you want to reset the file? Just click yes or click no, uh, and then it'll come up with a window like this. Uh, we'll leave that for now. The other thing you need is you need to forward several ports. I will link all of them in the description. The ports, the, the, I think there's three or four ports, I'll link them in the description. Once you have forwarded them ports, then we'll want to come in here and uh, for stars you want to click browse server file thing down here and you'll go to your armor free folder and initially you won't see anything you want to click this uh, button down here which says armor 2 server file set it to any file and just set it to select the armor free uh, application there now you have that selected to launch it is a server mode you need to type hyphen server and that's all you need to do for that then you can fill in your server name and stuff as you would like so whatever you want so I'm just going to type AJID because uh, AJID is part of Tritium Gaming they're a clan for uh, Armour 2 and Armour 3 password is what you want so I'm going to do cake and if if you want to be able to change a lot of the missions and stuff, you're going to want to add to uh, want to do an admin pass. And as it just says up there in the corner, uh, if you've just seen it, if you type hash login space and then the admin password, you can log in as admin because there isn't currently a server control thing that I've been able to find on Armor Free. So anyway, you set up the settings how you want in here. Um, so admin password, etc., etc. Uh, Several message of the day. This is display when you first go on the. When someone first joins the server, they will see the message of the day. Sort of scroll down. Um, here you will find missions, right? So this will load any missions that are in the multiplayer missions folder. We've got a bunch of them here, which you can just find them on the Armaholic website or the BIS forums is a great place for it. Uh, so you just select the missions you 
you want to start with or this is the mission cycle so if you if you have missions which end after a certain point it will then cycle on to the next mission whereas so we have stuff like wasteland which doesn't technically end so uh i for example i just i just tick wasteland and uh when the server launches that'll be the first mission it uses mods you can't use well when there are mods for armor free um for the armor free alpha when you'll be able to select them in here but currently there aren't any this is just ignore these two they're just nothing difficulty settings there's lots of stuff in here for the difficulty settings you can scroll down and essentially enable and disable what you want as far as i'm aware it still works number three this section but i i can't guarantee it now this here you want to set the maximum bandwidth to the maximum bandwidth of your machine the maximum um like the Armour 3 is, 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 I think it's hard coded at 2047 megabits a second, so you can just leave it like that. Server scripts, if you want to put server scripts on, for, et cetera, uh, for example, you can put them there. Now, once you've got all of these set up how you want them, and you have the ports forwarded, you can uh, enable uh, persistent battle. Battle Eye isn't currently with the Armour 3 Alpha, it's not currently available on it, so don't click that because you'll get some nasty error. Um, the voice codec quality is like the quality of the in-game voice chat. I'm not sure whether that affects it on Armour 3. So once you're done with that, uh, you can just click, you can either export it to a text file or you can click launch. Launch is probably the best thing to do. Also you can save it uh, to a profile once you've done it. So for example, I'm launching this now, from whatever, and you'll have your mission. If you want to log in as admin, just go in to join the server and then in the chat down uh, type into the chat hash and then whatever you put is the admin password um, well sorry no hash login then whatever you put is the admin password uh, this has been Kirkwood and this has been Tritium Gaming I hope it helped uh, if you need help if you need uh, any advice or help you can always try and comment um, but I would suggest going to the Bohemia Interactive forums and checking over there there's a bunch of guys over there that help you with stuff uh, good night